to hear from Flamagerie Zangari, and I'm here to show you an easy weeknight meal that you can make any night, or you can make it ahead and serve it as leftovers. It's a pumpkin lasagna roll-ups. So we're gonna start right now by making the filling for our roll-ups. I'm gonna start with a Fomagerie Zangari garlic and fine herbs cashew cheese. So this is going to be the base for our filling. I'm gonna pop this into one whole container into my food processor. To that, I am going to add a half a block of extra firm organic tofu. I'm going to just break it up into little chunks. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil and just a little bit of salt. I'm going to pulse that until it's nice and creamy and creamy crumbled to the texture of about a ricotta cheese. Then I'm just going to put that into this bowl. And then we're going to cook down some spinach. Alright, so we're starting with a little bit of water in our sauté pan. And I have about three to four cups of spinach here. I'm just going to add it slowly. And we're going to wilt it down. I don't want to overcook it, but I just want it to get a little softer. So there we go. Our spinach is nice and wilted. Perfect. We're going to add it into our cheese mixture. Give that a little stir. So this is going to be the stuffing for our lasagna noodles. If you wanted to add in some mushrooms, you could add in some mushrooms, some peppers, even some, some grated zucchini would be great in here. For today we're going to keep it simple. We just have our spinach and ricotta mixture. All right, so we're going to be making a simple pumpkin bechamel sauce for the topping of our lasagna roll-ups. So I have two cups of almond milk here, unsweetened almond milk, a quarter cup of just plain white flour, and I'm going to mix that up, ideally using a whisk so that there's no lumps in there. And that's going to form the basis of our sauce. So my saucepan here is on medium high. And I'm going to add in the flour and milk mixture and just bring it almost to a boil. You want to keep stirring that. until it starts to thicken up. All right, so our bechamel sauce, our milk and um, flour mixture is just starting to boil. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because we don't want it to burn and stick to the bottom of the pan. So now we're ready to add our pumpkin. So this is one and a half cups of uh, pumpkin puree. I'm just gonna gently add it in there. in until it's a nice, smooth, creamy sauce. So this is the sauce we are going to use to put on top of our pasta roll-ups. 
So have you ever made pasta roll-ups before? And if so, what did you stuff them with? Tell me in the comments below. Now we have a beautiful, rich, orange, pumpkin, bechamel sauce. We're gonna add in some spices. So a little bit of salt, about a half a teaspoon of salt and some ground pepper and I am going to go ahead and just grate a little bit of nutmeg right into my sauce here. How you like to use a nice fresh nutmeg nut just gives it such a rich, much richer flavor. So there we have it our bechamel sauce that we will use to top our lasagna roll-ups. All right, well, we're going to add a little bit of cracked pepper into our ricotta mixture. Mix that in. Then I'm gonna use that ricotta mixture to roll up inside of my cooked lasagna noodles. So I cooked these off camera according to package directions, and I'm just going to spread it out all along my noodle. Make it good and messy. And then I'm going to roll it up. Do a nice little roll like that and place it on my, on my plate, my serving plate. I'm going to do one more like that. And then I'm going to layer on our bechamel sauce. Beautiful orange, rich colored sauce. Drizzle it on there. And I'm going to garnish it with a little bit of chopped parsley. Et voila! Pumpkin bechamel roll-ups using our garlic and fine herb cheese as a stuffing. If you like this video and you want to see more videos every Thursday, click the subscribe button below. We'll see you next time.